Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's live class. My name is Rebecca Zostek. I am a health coach, uh, personal trainer, and group exercise instructor here at our beautiful Hogue Health Center in Foothill Ranch uh, with the Hogue Lifestyle Program. So uh, before I get moving here and talk to you a little bit more about this class, I am just going to start our timer so we make sure that we're on time. Okay. So welcome everyone, welcome if you're new and you've never done these classes with me before. I appreciate you being here and logging on to our YouTube channel. By the way, with our YouTube channel, please do subscribe. All you need to do is hit that little subscribe button. You'll see a few little bells. Just click the bell on the top and then that way you'll get all the notifications on when we are going live with any fitness classes, uh, any of our registered dietitians, uh, lectures and cooking demos, as well as any of our lectures with our doctors. So the good thing is that you can always go back and view any of those videos throughout the whole entire time that we've had them on there. So you can always go back and look at those videos. Okay, so we're about to get started with this class. Um, improving your strength and stability. Today, I know I said this in the past that I would always use weights, but today, guess what? We're not using weights because I know that there's a lot of people out there that do not have dumbbells, uh, so I'm not going to be using them. I will be using a small towel, okay? Just a small towel like this. We're going to use this to help with stretching and a little bit of core work um, and, of course, our balance. So if you have not done this class before and um, maybe you're expecting uh, a lot of balancing exercises and things like that, this is really about helping to improve your balance with a series of short exercise drills, okay, to practice our balance training. Uh, so with that, we want to work on strengthening those sta um, stabilizer muscles, okay? The stabilizer muscles, super important because they do uh, tend to atrophy and get much weaker as we grow older. So super important to keep those muscles strong. So what are those muscles? Those are, of course, your core. Engaging your core as much as possible all throughout the day, just keeping those abs tight. Um, also, it's going to be your hips. So we do a lot of hip stuff in this class. I'll be doing a lot of uh, leg lifts and things like that. So we want to make sure we do the uh, get exercises for the hips, as well, of course, of the glutes, the uh, quadriceps, and of course, working on our posture. That's the biggest thing. So let's get warmed up, okay, everyone? Who do I have? Who do I have? Oh, uh, welcome. I have a few of you with me right now. So let's just get warmed up. Well, I get my music on. You can get yourself set up. And there we go. Get a little music on. Well, maybe, maybe not. Okay. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but. All right, so what we want to do is get warmed up first. Legs are always nice and wide, hands on your waist. And all you're going to do is just a shift from side to side, a little toe tap from side to side. All right, so you keep that going for me for just a moment. I'm getting some sort of message here. And let's see. Okay, well, that's all right, stuff happens. Okay, so side to side, here we go. And if you're not able to hear the music, don't worry about that. We're just gonna keep moving, okay. Now, from here, what I'd like you to do is just a little leg curl from side to side, so slow it down, and shift the weight over to your left, and get a curl here, and shift over and curl here. So if this is a little bit too challenging, just make sure you have your chair nearby, okay, or something that you can hold on to just a little bit to give you some support, okay? All right. Good job. Well, hey, you know, today is September 1st. Wow, we're just getting a little bit closer to fall. <laughs> it kind of looks like fall outside today. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's slow it down now. Legs are nice and wide. Nice big inhale. Hands come down to your thighs right here. You're going to drop your left shoulder. Get a stretch in that upper back. And other side. And center rolling up. Let's get some shoulder rolls going back. Nice big shoulder rolls. And reverse it, going forwards, and hold, taking your left arm up for a nice big stretch, come down, let's do, go to the other side, nice big stretch, and one more time each side. 
side. We're getting ready to do our first exercise. Now today, actually, uh, what I have for you is we're gonna be doing intervals. We're going 40 seconds to practice the exercise, okay? We'll do 40 seconds, and then we'll take a nice 20 second transition to rest and recover. First exercise, we wanna make sure we do have our chair nearby or something that you can hold on to for support. All right, so this is not working for us today, so we'll just turn that off. All right. So first thing we're going to do is the legs are about shoulder width apart, just a little bit wider. Keep your chest up, okay? And what we're gonna do is a calf raise. You're gonna come up onto the tippy toes and then right back down. So in this class, of course, we don't want to, or in this exercise, we don't want to lean forward. So here we go, we're lifting straight up and right back down. Straight up, right back down. So if you would like to try just holding on with one hand or the fingertips right here, okay, we're going to trigger a little bit more activity in the core to help stabilize. If we're not quite ready for that, then we'll just keep the hands on the chair, okay? So straight up and down. Straight up and down. All right, so let's make sure we're breathing. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, breathe in. And exhale and inhale. Good, and take a rest. Shake out those legs. We're gonna try this again, but a little bit different leg position. Let me move back a little bit. So what I'd like you to try to do is stagger your legs a little bit, okay? So they're not in a straight line, but they're a little staggered. I should have worn my white shoes, yeah? So a little staggered, and here we go, up and down. We're gonna try 10 here, and then we'll switch the leg position, okay? And straight up, four. And five, squeeze into those legs, six, seven, three more. Try to let go of the chair if you can. You'll see what, what a challenge it is there. Good, and quickly change legs. Right foot's in front now, and lift up and down. Up and down, good. There you go, just keep that going. And a five, rolling short on the timer, but that's okay. Just get those last couple here. And let's rest, all right? Shake it out. So you probably feel those calf muscles about now. All right, good job. Next exercise, we're gonna get into a nice wide squat position. You can see that the timer goes a little bit fast. We're gonna go into a little plie squat right here, okay? Hold it here, we're gonna lift the heels up from side to side. Up, down, up, down. Okay, so now, instead of doing a squat, moving up and down, we're getting the thighs, okay, by just doing this little exercise and holding this squat. Up and down, up and down, good. All right, if you need a little break, you're gonna just come up for a second. Woo, come back down, let's try again. And up, down. You'll hear the timer here. And done, okay, nice work. It's time for the hips. Are you ready to do some hip work? Who do I have now? Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Here we go now with our side leg lift. Your left leg is going to be doing the work, okay? So concentrating on that hip, keep the chest up and open, and here you go, push out. <laughs> I have some people out there watching me, so it's nice to have some folks out in the health center joining me. <laughs> Good, push away. Remember to hold that chair if you need to. Abs are tight, open up the shoulders here, pulling them back, you want nice posture. So keep this going, up and down. And up and that hip, good. Now in a moment, or in 10 seconds, you're gonna hold that leg up, okay? So get ready. Hold it up right here. Five seconds, four, three, whoop, two, one, and coming down. Oh, we felt the hip on that one. Let's try the other side. So I'm just moving my chair, but you can just turn around uh, however you are positioned. It's all good. Here we go with the other side. Abs tight, lifting the leg up to the side. So what we should concentrate on, right, is our posture, pulling your shoulders back constantly. Okay, there you 
go. Just push back, push back. Or really, it's to the side. It's okay. All right, keeping those abs engaged. Keep going. Take your time if this is a little too fast. Just make sure that you're keeping good form with your posture. You're going to hear that bell here in just a few seconds. Let's hold the leg up for five, and it's five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Our next exercise, so we're going to continue with the hip work, okay? Now your leg's going to be bent. We're going to lift out to the side uh, and right back down. We're going to add on to that, so watch out. Here we go. So we're lifting up to the side, and we're going to do ten, two, three. Four. See if we can let go of the chair. Five. So just a little attitude. Six. That's the name of this exercise. Okay. Ooh. Feeling that hip. Hold it up for me now. Hold it up. We're going to circle the hip around. And two. Three. Four. Five. And now reverse it. So now you're pushing forward. And two. I know this is a tough one. Three. Four, five, and rest. Perfect. Okay, I'm telling you, you should have felt that right in those hips. Okay, our next, our, actually the same exercise on the other side. So get ready for that one. Your supporting legs a little bit bent, as tight shoulders back. Good posture always. Get ready for the attitude lift. So we come up and down. So this exercise really is something that we do in bar class. So this is a really great class or exercise for this class too because we are focusing on the hip strength and balance. Okay, good. And lift and lift. And now we're going to hold it up right here. Hold it. Circle forward. One, two, three, four. And reverse it. And coming forward. Two, Three, four, and five. Okay, shake out those hips. Let's move on. I'm gonna move the chair a little bit. Now we're gonna work on this balance, um, some balance drills, and now you don't have the support. Uh, so please modify wherever you need to. We're gonna do some rotation. You're gonna grab the towel on each end. Let's line up your feet, one in front of the other, arms out in front of you, and we're just gonna twist a little bit, or as much as you can. Come back center, and now the other side. Okay, so the way that I have my legs right now, I'm squeezing my inner thighs. I've got my heel to toe connection. And if this is a little too challenging, if you're finding yourself just constantly having to adjust, just go ahead and open the legs a little bit wider. And you're still going to get that core work as you rotate. Make sure you stop in the middle. So we don't get dizzy. And go ahead and rest. Let's change the leg position now. So the opposite foot's in front. Again, if you need the legs a little bit more open, you can do that. That'll give you a little more stability. Um, otherwise, the closer that they get, the more challenging. Arms out in front, getting ready. And we're going to twist to the right now. Twist to the right. You're going to find you really need to squeeze your inner thighs. Make sure you take that little pause in the middle. Just working on keeping that belly pulling in constantly. Pulling in constantly. All right. Don't want to get dizzy, so if you need a little break here, go ahead and take it. Okay. Almost there. Hold on 10 seconds. And twist. Everything is tight. And rest. Whew, you also feel the arms, right? Okay, our next exercise, we are still using the towel. We're going to be doing balance work. And welcome. I have a few new ones or, that have joined us, so thank you. All right, so our next exercise, you're going to take the towel to a diagonal angle over to one side. We're going to lift the opposite knee, bring the towel down to the knee, and then reach up again. Okay, if it's too challenging to use the towel, you can just kind of mock the exercise 
without getting that full extension. All right, here we go. And reach, stretch, and pull. Stretch and pull. What are we working on here, everyone? We're working on that core strength, keeping that core nice and tight so you get the stretch here through your lats. We're getting the abs, the ab muscles to contract. Okay. And rest. We're going to try the other side, so get ready there. Ah. <sighs> Important, important part of this exercise is posture. So working on pulling those shoulders back all of the time. Get ready. Arms are going to come up. Anchor that left leg. Big, long stretch here. Ready? And here we go. Pull down and reach. Pull down and reach. We got this. No problem. And pull. You're wanting to try to get more out of this exercise. Really try to keep your arms long and straight. Okay, they're not bending at all. If you need more modifications, then your arms are going to be more bent. Okay, so you're here. Still working on good form. Okay, and pull. Last few seconds. And rest. Oh. Okay, very nice. We'll come back to this towel here in just a little moment. Taking a second to grab some water if you do have that water nearby. Our next exercise is we're going to work on strictly balanced exercises. So if you need our support system, you're going to be holding on with your left hand. Your right knee is going to come up and we're just going to hold it up here for a second or a few seconds. Let's try to think about all of what's going on. We want the hips to be in a straight line, okay? So if you're leaning or the hips are kind of torqued out this way, let's get that straightened out. And now I want you to think about the shoulders pulling back. Shoulders are pulling back. Keep that chest lifted. And now that right knee, you're gonna lift and lift and lift. So here we go, lift and lift and lift. Okay, tell me now if you're feeling this work. Oh yes, we are. And rest. Okay, that was a good one there. Let's try the other side. So as soon as we're in a situation that's not normal for our body, like standing on one foot, all of these muscle fibers have to turn on, right, to get you in a nice safe position or a safe place. Okay, so we're working on first balance. Pull the hips so they're in a straight line. We want them forward and straight. Keep the chest lifted. All right, nice job keeping it up right there. See if you can let go of the chair. Just holding that balance. Yes, and get ready now. So we're gonna work this left leg up and down. Here we go, it's up and two, three, four, side again, but we're going to add on a little bit. So what I'm going to have you do is, first of all, please make sure you're safe. You're holding on to something. We're going to close our eyes because now, as soon as we close our eyes, the body really needs to respond. Lift your right leg. Don't do it yet. Lift your right leg. Hold it here. Okay, and now I want you to just find that right posture position. Okay, make sure you're safe. And you ready? You're going to close your eyes. Now, close your eyes. Now, now, with your eyes closed, right, we're really feeling lots of stuff going on. You feel your abdominals contracting, your glutes, your inner thighs. Ooh, find that balance. Stay long and tall. You're going to hear that bell here in just a few seconds, so stay there. If you need to open your eyes, please do that. And release. Ah, oh, you did it. Great job. You did it, you did it. So we have one more to go. Okay, so how awesome is that? When your eyes are closed, like your body really wants to work harder to make sure you're safe, okay? So that's what we like. We want it to be trained that way. Here we go with the other side first. Let's get our balance here. Make sure those hips are squared. Belly's pulling tight. Open the chest. 
Find a good position. Make sure your standing leg is a little bit bent. Sorry, I'm always in all black, so you can't really see me too well. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Close your eyes. Just hold this position. Keep that chest lifted. Breathe. Start feeling things. What are you feeling most? The legs, the belly, the glutes. Everything's working. Hold on to that chair. Don't let go. And release. Oh, shake it out. Great job, everyone. You are almost done with this class. Let's go back to our towel, okay? So let's get that going. We're gonna go back to that tandem exercise. I'm gonna turn off our timer now because we don't want to be timed. We're gonna just take our, take our time with these last few exercises, okay? So let's line up the feet again. So you have one in front of the other. You're on the tight wire, okay? You're on the tight wire. Again, if you need more stability, you're going to open the legs a little bit so you have more base of support, you have more gravity assisting you, okay? So wherever you are with that, you're going to take your arms out in front of you, okay? So pulling the towel apart, so you're pulling the hands away from you with the towel, okay? So we're going to lift up, stretch, 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 come down. Now depending on your flexibility, you're going to turn sideways. Depending on your flexibility, we're going to come down, flat back, okay? If this is a no-go for you, don't worry about it. You don't need to do it, okay? It's a little more challenging. Then you're gonna roll back up, and we're gonna start again. Arms go up, keep that belly tight. We come down, flat back, and we stand up. Let's try one more time, so we'll do three. Number three, arms reach up and pull it apart. Good, and we come down into flat back. Oh, you can really feel those legs working hard and coming off. Okay, nice job. Let's try the other side. That was a good one. When we're going from the top position to that flat back, your legs are really activating right there, especially your core, yes, your core too. Activating to turn on through that movement even more so, and that's what we like. Okay, here we go, find your balance. Keep that chest lifted, squeeze those inner thighs. Here we go, arms going up, nice big stretch. And coming down into flat back. Relax your arms, and then coming right back up to standing. Oh yes, okay, let's go again. Number two, big stretch. Coming down flat back if you can, just keep that chest pulling forward, chest pulling forward, and standing up. Last time, big stretch up, and coming down flat back. Relax your arms, you feel that stretch, oh yes, and coming right back up. All right, nice work, nice work. Moving on now, you're going to stand behind your chair, couch, counter, wherever you are. We're going to work on the hamstrings and the glutes, so the back of the legs. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna be holding on to the chair here. You're gonna take whichever leg you want, doesn't matter. You're going to push it back as if you were just pushing yourself on a skateboard, right? <laughs> yes. A long time ago, we were on those skateboards. Well, I was, okay. Here we go, push the leg back, hold it here, make sure your supporting leg is slightly bent. And now we're gonna take the, the arms out to the side if you can, or just one arm, and then everything comes back. Let's try the other side. So you push your leg back, come down. Let's see if we can let go of the chair. If not, maybe one arm, maybe one arm, or it's two. Good, and coming back. Okay, let's try again the other side. Push the leg back, coming down, and arms release. We call this our little plane, and coming up. One more time on the other side. You push the leg back, come down, hold it here, hold it here. Arms out, yes and coming back. So we warmed up the back side, so let's continue taking your uh, 
Well, it's my right leg, so you want to do the right leg? Oh, that's good. Right leg back behind you, we're going to curl up and then extend long and tap the floor. Okay, so we're working the hamstring muscle. This is where we want to uh, feel the work. Here we go, and lift. So what I'm going to have you do is first hold on to the chair or the counter for a little bit, and then we're going to try it without holding on. So wherever you are with this, you make sure you're safe. Ready? So now no hands, if possible, if that's possible. Here we go, in five, four, three. Curling that heel up towards your glutes, two. And now hold it up right here, hold it up. See if we can take the arms up and down. One more time, reaching up and down. How'd we do on that one? Oh, okay, I hope everyone was doing okay on that one. Let's try the other side. Left leg, your right leg is slightly bent. And so here we go, we're pulling up for a hamstring curl and tapping the floor. Curl and tap. Here's three, four, you ready? Five, let's see if we can let go of the chair. And here's five more. And four, just keep that chest lifted. Three, two, and hold that leg up right here. Hold it up, reach the arms up and around. And again, up and around. Let's just try one more, here we go. You're doing so well, up and around. All right, shake it out. Oh. Okay, it's time to stretch it out. So I'm gonna show you a hamstring stretch. Um, we just activated all those muscles, so now it's a really good time to stretch them out. I'm going to use the chair to help me with this exercise. Now, if lifting your leg onto something this high or about this high is not doable, it's okay. I'll show you in a moment an alternative that we normally do anyways. So if you can, you're gonna kind of hold on to the side of the counter or the chair and just kind of kick the leg up onto the chair. Um, another great thing you can use is a little ottoman or a step stool, or if you have a staircase, you can put your leg up maybe on the second stair or the first stair, something like that. So those are some options there too. You're just going to lean your body forward. Now when you lean forward, what tends to happen with a lot of people is instead of leaning forward, they're dunking their head here because the hamstrings are so tight, it's not allowing you to move your body forward. Okay, so that just takes time. We need to just practice. And the good thing is that, uh, what is it, starting next week on Tuesdays, okay, everybody announcement, on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. starting September 7th, I'm going to be teaching a full body stretch class live. Full body stretch on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Okay, so such a great class. We need it, we need it because we get so tight Come on up, hold on to something you need to do to remove that leg. Let's try the other side, lifting the foot up onto the chair, on the step. You could even do this stretch, of course, just on the floor, hands on your waist, and you're just doing a little hinge here, okay? Most of the time, people feel that in their calf muscle, more so. Okay, here we are. You ready? Keep your chest lifted, and ooh, stretch forward. Yes, yeah, so. You feel it in the hamstrings, the glutes maybe, lower back, and the calf muscles. Okay, so we're just going to hold this. So again, starting next Tuesday, mark your calendars. If you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and you hit the little bell, you'll get notified that the class is coming up. So that's another great, um, great way to remember that it's coming up. Okay, and release. Job. Let's get the legs nice and wide. Take your right arm up for a big stretch and lean to one side. Ah, good. And coming back and other side. Good. And one more time. Each side. Big stretch. Ah, wonderful. And last one. Or last stretch here. Nice big inhale. And exhale, and again, inhale, 
and exhale. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with me during this whole entire class. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can always put them down in the comments below, and I'll take a look at that. But thank you for being here with me today. I will see you next week, Wednesdays at 9 a.m., hopefully also on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. for the full body stretch class. Have a great day and stay safe, please. Bye-bye.